But nothing ever stopped me From dusting off my shoes You might think you'll see me Hi and welcome to Run Tall with Tim. I'm Tim. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together, so thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own marathon training program using Garmin. And I talk a little bit about the differences between using the self-guided marathon training program as compared to their uh, guided coaches programs that I've used in the past. And I'll also share with you the results of my first week of starting my marathon training. So I've been using the Garmin Coaches program for some time now with some great success. Because of all that success, and I know that it's made me a better runner, improved my VO2 max, and improved my speed on race day, that I wanted to share those experiences with you. A big part of what I'm going to be doing this time around is injury prevention. So I'm going to do some videos on some things that I'm doing to try to help keep me healthy and safe while I train in this 16-week marathon training block. But the first thing we need to do is to set one up. So. In order to do that, you're going to go to uh, connect.garmin.com. Now, I'm already logged in, so when I go ahead and click on connect.garmin.com, it brings me right up to my dashboard. You're going to want to navigate over to the left-hand side of the screen and then down where it says training. Uh, when you open up training, scroll down to where it says training plans. Now, mine comes up already because it's already an active plan, but you're going to go to find a plan and then click on running. Now here, it's going to give you all of the different running programs that are available to you, starting with their Garmin Coaches plans. Now these are the guided programs that are adaptive, uh, and you have a 5K, a 10K, up to a half marathon program that's available to you. But I want to go a little further than that, so I'm going to be running a marathon or establishing a marathon training program. I picked intermediate, which is basically five days a week that I'm going to be running. Uh, then you can click on schedule, and then once you do that, the next time that you sync, your Garmin device, uh, it will automatically bring that program uh, into your calendar. So in the morning, when I get ready to go for a run, and I, I'm using a Garmin Phoenix 6, uh, and I love it, by the way. Uh, it is an older version. Uh, I know that they have the Phoenix 7 out now, but the Phoenix 6 is working great for me. But when I click on run, or when I open up run, uh, it'll bring up, it'll ask me, do you want to run your workout? And I simply say yes, and I'm good to go. So that's how, that's how easy it is. That's as simple as it is. Now, what are the differences? And I, I mentioned earlier that I would talk about the differences between using the uh, Garmin Coaches app as opposed to the self-guided plans. That with the Coaches app, it's adaptive. So it's going to change as you move through the program. And by that, I mean that you're only going to know what your workouts are about a week in advance because based on how you're doing, so maybe you're ahead of the game a little bit, well, those workouts are going to get a little bit more difficult for you or Garmin's going to make those adjustments. Or maybe you're, you're um, you know, taking a little bit longer to get up to speed. Well, then they might uh, back it off a little bit so that they're not asking you to run quite so hard or fast or, or long. So it's adaptive in that way. With the self-guided plans, they give you the framework, and I love that. So I know what my 16-week program looks like. I know what exercises or workouts that they want me to do for that full 16-week block. But what they're not telling me, for example, is what my easy run pace should be. Or if I'm running intervals, what my interval pace should be. So that's something that I need to calculate on my own. So that'll be uh, some of the things that we'll talk about uh, in weeks two, three, four, and so on as we move through this training block together. Garmin does a great job laying out the week for you. So if you go to connect.garmin.com, you can see the calendar so you know what's coming up. And it, this is week one for me. Now it started with a cross training day on a Sunday. And then the second day was an easy run. The third day was intervals. Fourth day was some cross training. Fifth day was a rest day. Sixth day was running fart licks. And then the seventh day was the long run that um, I did on a Saturday. That's what it looks like when you go or log into their website. But you don't have to do that. And that's the great thing about using uh, Garmin to train with is it loads all of that information to your smart device. So this shows up on my phone. It, it also it is automatically loaded into my watch as well as my results. So let's take a look at your smart device and see what kind of information Garmin is sharing with you here. I'm gonna use my tablet in my case, but it works just as well on your cell phone. First thing I'm gonna do is open up the Garmin app. Now this is the Garmin Connect app. And once I do that, it brings me up into my day and they share a ton of information with you. I'm not gonna go through all of that in this video because 
this video would be an hour long at, at you know probably at the shortest uh, because there's just so much information that they can share with you but i will scroll down really quickly to the bottom of the screen here just to show kind of a summary of the information that they share over the last seven days and you can see that you know i had five different runs 34 miles five sessions and all of that kind of good information what i really wanted to share with you however is to look at your calendar because this is where they pull in that marathon training program that we're following so when i click on calendar you're going to see it laid out for the month i'm going to go back to february 12th because that is the end of that first week of marathon training that we've been talking about so i'm going to click on february 12th and then it just takes a minute for it to load uh, and then I'm going to scroll down and you can see some of my activities on that day. And I'm going to click on uh, the long run. So you're going to see the Shiawassee County and it's going to say uh, W01D7. Now that simply stands for week one, day seven. And I'm going to click on that. And that's where it gives us all of that information that, uh, you know, is related to the run that I completed on that day, including the route that I took and all those kinds of things. So I went uh, 9.23 miles. It took me an hour and 25 minutes, roughly burned a thousand calories. Uh, and you can click over uh, just a little bit and it kind of breaks it down for you um, in more detail. Now, I'm, probably, I'm not going to go through every day because that would be a lot. And I think you guys would get bored to death uh, if, if I did that. But if you want to connect with me on Strava, you can watch this in real time. So I will put a link uh, with my uh, Strava uh, for, to my Strava account uh, in the description below. So join me on Strava and you can follow along and, and more in real, really in real time. My video is going to be delayed about a week. It takes me, I'm not fast at this, so it takes me a little bit of time to pull these videos together for you. So I run about a week behind. So if you want to follow along in real time, feel free to join me on Strava. Uh, I do want to share with you what shoes I was wearing because, you know, that's just one of the things that I want to do as I go forward is kind of share with you more of the gear and as well as some of the pre and post workout routines that I do for stretching, some of the uh, things that I use to help keep me healthy like uh, percussion massage guns, uh, the hydration uh, uh, types of products I'm using for hydration, talk about my Garmin device. I've got a device on my wrist right now that I can't really show you because it's under embargo. I'm testing it out for uh, the company, but I'll be releasing that video probably end of March once that embargo has been lifted so I can talk in more detail about that. So I've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up for you. So I hope you join me. I think it's going to be a really fun journey for us to take together. I will be doing some other races along the way and we'll highlight those in different videos. Now, the marathon that I'm planning to run is on May 28th. Uh, it's going to be the Bayshore Marathon. It is a Boston qualifier, but, you know, I'm just hoping to run it and be healthy and safe and complete the marathon uh, in its entirety and uh, share the experience with you. Uh, I love to run. I'm, I'm not a professional coach. I'm not an elite runner. I'm just somebody who really enjoys running and I enjoy sharing the experience with all of you. Now, the shoes that I've been using for that first week of the marathon training program are the Asics Gel Nimbus 24s. Now, these are really comfortable shoes. They're a max cushion daily trainer. I even use these on the speed work days, not because they're a speed day shoe, but because they're a pretty stable shoe. And it's really icy and snowy out here right now. So I couldn't really put on a pair of what I would call speed shoes because they're just it's just a little bit too slippery out there right now. I was doing the best I could simply to stay upright and keep from falling out on that ice. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that. You know, I've got plenty of time to do speed work down the road as the weather improves and the running conditions improve so that I can do that safely. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time to continue our marathon journey together right here on Run Tall with Tim. I don't need no sunshine, cause I'm dead.